Hi, I'm Joe Wren. With thousands of Boy Scouts descending on IU's campus this week for the Order of the Arrow, the Central Indiana Boy Scout Council launches its public phase of a $16 million campaign aimed at enhancing and expanding the reach of scouting in Central Indiana. It currently serves more than 44,000 families across 25 Central Indiana counties. Of those, nearly 40% now receive some special help, whether it is uniforms, camp fees, books, registration fees, or extra staff support. This is an increase from 33% who needed help just a few years ago. Scout executive Scott Clawball says the campaign has already raised $11 million. Returning players reported to IU football camp today. They were greeted with warm weather, a new stadium, and a big group of kids. Our kids are having an absolute blast, and this is something they wouldn't be able to do otherwise. And this is an opportunity for the kids to interact with the community and for the football team to interact with the community as well. We have been here for a couple hours and uh, just playing all these different games, not necessarily just football, but uh, enjoying uh, being active as a group. They love uh, working with the players. Uh, they are local and you know really famous, huge important people. So uh, the kids love um, just the ability to try and see things new. All they're doing is Oh, wow. They just like being down on the field. <laughs> Some of them walked in and started waving like they were already professionals. So I think it's inspiration, really. I was so, talking to one of the coaches, and he said, I don't know who's having more fun, the kids or the big kids? Indianapolis-based Eli Lilly has changed income eligibility requirements for its most widely used patient assistance program. Lilly USA says it's part of an effort to help people deal with the high cost of prescriptions during a down economy. The new yearly eligibility limit for a family of two is approximately $44,000. Here's your weather forecast for tonight. Mostly clear, 58 the low. Tomorrow, mostly sunny, then a few clouds roll in during the afternoon. Highs in the mid-80s. Tomorrow night, partly cloudy with lows in the upper 60s. And then in your five-day forecast, we start to see those 90-degree temperatures, 91 on Saturday, 93 on Sunday, before a slight chance of rain on Monday. For WTIU News, I'm Joe Wren.